Hi, my name is Gwen Morgan, and my thesis is on music and transnational allegory in Chunking Express. Last summer, I missed the train to Red Bank, New Jersey. With an hour to spare before the next departure, I picked up some snacks at a fluorescently lit convenience store and resigned to sitting on the floor next to an outlet. I was the only one responsible for this hour lost underground, away from an otherwise sunny day, and I wasn't happy about it. But just as I was digging through my bag, trying to find headphones to tune out my self-annoyance, I heard something crinkle over the station stereo system. Dreams by the Cranberries was playing. Suddenly, only one thing was in my thoughts, Chungking Express. This reminder of 1990s Hong Kong and a place far from it is how I became interested in the ways Wong Kar Wai's use of music in Chungking Express serve an allegorical purpose. Chungking Express was filmed in 1994 when Wong Kar Wai began feeling overwhelmed by his work on the ancient war epic, Ashes of Time. Looking for a refreshing project, Wong and his longtime cinematographer, Christopher Doyle, spent three months shooting the film, primarily without permits or extensive production. The script was loosely crafted, oftentimes on the spot with his actors improvising lines and plot points. What resulted was a diptych, or film in two parts, that blurred the genre lines between a thrilling crime film and screwball romance. With all its twists, turns, and emphasis on chance encounters, Chunking Express captures the essence of a bustling 1990s Hong Kong nearing its handover to mainland China, where young people, pursuing different careers and grappling with heartbreak alongside the possibility of new love, are ultimately making the most of uncertainty. In this way, the film acts as a form of national allegory for a nation yet to be fully realized, a nation in flux. Before it is possible to understand Chunking Express as an allegorical text of Hong Kong's handover to mainland China, it is essential to understand the function of national allegory as it applies to the complexities of Hong Kong. The theoretical framework of my thesis is interested in understanding this complexity and defining it as transnational allegory. In third world literature in the era of multinational capitalism, Marxist literary theorist Frederick Jameson argues that all third world texts are necessarily allegorical. Jameson uses the term third world to describe countries which have suffered the experience of colonialism and imperialism. Following this logic, Jameson will understand a film like Chunky Express as a product of Hong Kong while colonized by Britain to be an example of national allegory. However, Jameson's framework, which is generally reductive, neglects the complication of Hong Kong, Hong Kong as an epicenter of cultural diffusion in which a history of colonization and industry that operates on the global sphere has created an in-betweenness that is neither that of a colony or an independent nation. The allegorical nature of Chunking Express speaks to this ambivalence rather than a defined message of national identity. In Jameson's rhetoric of otherness and the national allegory, Marxist literary theorist and poet Ijaz Ahmad writes, if we, if we replace the idea of nation with that larger, less restricting idea of collectivity, and if we start thinking about the process of allegorization, not in nationalistic terms, but simply as a relation between private and public, personal and communal, then it also becomes possible, possible to see that allegorization is by no means specific to the so-called third world. Ahmad's reading of Jameson reveals the possibility of a more complicated allegorical purpose at work in Chunking Express, a text that aims to capture the shifts of an ineffable locale before a drastic change. In Transnationalization of the Local in Hong Kong Cinema of the 1990s, Professor of English and Humanities at Hong Kong Baptist University, Kui Chung Lo writes, Hong Kong cinema seems to be entering a trans transnational space in which tensions and ambivalence resulting from encroaching natural, national representations and borderless capitalization have generated a new kind of complexity in its filmic production. Chunking Express does not posit a message of nation or even, a collect, or, or even of collectivity as Jameson or Ahmad describe it. Instead, its interest lies in what Lowe describes as the ambivalence of Hong Kong and can be understood as transnational allegory. Further, this understanding of transnational allegory can be understood through Wong Kar Wai's use of music. 
Throughout Chunking Express, Wonka Y builds associations between music and certain characters and narratives, compartmentalizing the film sonically and visually in a way that heightens the ambivalent flavor of his filmmaking. Pairing unlikely elements together repeatedly elevates a sense of whimsy in each scene, fusing in ways, fusing things in ways that create a distinct newness akin to the unknown newness of Hong Kong's future. An example of this is the repeated use of California Dreamin' by the Mamas and the Papas. In this scene, the juxtaposition of an American song from the 1960s with the frenetic aura of a 1990s food stall in Hong Kong encapsulates the ambivalence that grounds the film's allegorical effect. In Double Agent's cameos in the Poor Man's Orchestra, Music in Place in Chungking Express, academic Giorgio B. Conroso includes an epigraph from historian John Carroll saying, I cannot imagine anyone in Hong Kong listening to California Dreamin' in the early 1990s. This is especially true as the song becomes associated with Faye, a character played by the fam famous canto pop singer Fei Wong, someone people would have recognized as a popular artist with her own extensive discography. As she repeatedly plays the out of place track wherever she goes, one cannot ignore how it clashes with the actress's own place in the music scene at the time. What results is the sonic conjunction of nostalgia and modernity across genres and place in a way that opens space for an allegorical interpretation of the film, one defined not only by cultural exports unique to Hong Kong, but instead the ambivalence captured when such elements are combined with those that seem out of place, such as Western music. What I hope to achieve with this project is a clearer understanding of the allegorical work at play in Chunking Express and how the music used serves a political purpose, posing interpretations of nation amidst political uncertainty. Thank you.